Um, excuse me, Minnie. Do you mind moving? We'll see. <coughs> Are you just going to sit there? Are you going to be nice, girl? Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books and from Minnie. Minnie's very cross. Well, what a, what a fur deposit you've left on me. Welcome to another video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books and today I'm going to be doing my January TBR. I've got a mug, it's got books on it. David got me this for Christmas. Actually, that tea, I'm pretending to drink. There's no way I can drink that now, it's boiling. And we all know what happened last time, everywhere. So I've got a few books here that I want to show you that I will be reading in January. Very unorganized because I've just realized that I've left a number of them on my bed. Be right back. And I'm back. I will start with the ones that I've already started with. So uh, for my online book club, which is a book club I run on Facebook with my pals, um, we are reading Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. I've been meaning to read this for such a bloody long time. Since I got it out at the beginning of the last year from the library, kept getting it out, never got round to reading it, ended up getting myself a copy. I've got no excuses now. I'm reading it for my online book club. I'm 76 pages in, really enjoying it so far. Really, really, really enjoying it. It's about a couple called Lotto and Mathilde, who, and from what I can gather, um, the first half of the story is told from Lotto's point of view, and the second half is told from Mathilde's point of view. And you just sort of like learn about all the things that you think are going on in a relationship, but from another point of view aren't, and lies, and I'm just really, really loving this so far. It's written beautifully. There's a few bits I've been like, oh, poignant. Oh, poignant. So, loving that so far. The next book I'm partly way through is How to Huga, The Secrets of Nordic Living. Um, I'm going to be really injecting some Huga into my lifestyle in 2017. Um, and I got sent this by the publisher, um, Pam McMillan sent it to me. And I think this is amazing. As, as well as having some really good uh, recipes in the middle, like so far, what I've read so far, and I'm only 60 pages in, has been very, very good advice and information about Huga um, and about Scandinavia in general. So I'm really, really loving this so far. And then also, oh my God, this is massive. I am reading the first compendium of The Walking Dead. Um, I don't actually know who this is written. Oh, a number of people. Robert Kirkman is the name I recognise, but also Charlie Adler, Tony Moore and Cliff Rathburn. Um, I'm this much through. Um, I, David and I love The Walking Dead. We watch it avidly, although saying that, we, we still haven't caught up, up to the mid-season um, special. And I wanted to, I've been meaning to read the, um, the comics for a long, long time. God, this is so heavy. I've been meaning to read the comics for a long, long time. Um, but uh, not been able to get like not been able to get them hold of them in the order they went. So I thought I'd get them out from the library. The compendium one. I've already got compendium two on order and do it that way. Cheaper and using the library. So very good. So those are the three I've started. Um, I will also be reading on my Kindle um, for my book club at work. Um, the readers of the readers of Broken Wheel recommend by. Marina someone, I can't remember the name of that person, I will insert it here. Um, we're reading this, it is a, um, it got put in the pot because it's a Richard and Judy book club pick and people um, think that they have good picks, so we've put that in there. Um, it's about a woman who leaves Sweden, I believe, um, to go and visit a pen pal in Iowa, um, at a, a town called Broken Wheel, and when she gets there, her pen pal's funeral has just taken place, and um, she they, they open a bookshop or a library or something, something like bookish. I feel like, mm, we'll see how it goes. I don't feel like super pumped about it, but we'll go. The next ones, however, I am super pumped about. I will be reading The Good People by Hannah Kent. Um, we're doing a buddy read with this with Mercedes um, and Simon, my very good pals. I'll link their channels down below, but bloody hell, you must know them. Um, this book isn't out until um, February. It is from the same author who wrote Burial Rights, which I wasn't mad on, but I've got high hopes for this. It's set in Ireland, um, and what else happens? It's set in Ireland. That's all I know so far. No, I do know more. Nora, bereft after a sudden death of... And it's set in Kerry. Sudden death of her beloved husband. Find herself alone and caring for her younger grandson Michael. Michael cannot speak and cannot walk and Nora is desperate to know what is wrong with him. Mary arrives in the valley just as the whispers are spreading. The stories of unexplained misfortunes, of illnesses and the rumours that Michael is a changeling child who is bringing bad luck to the valley. Nancy's knowledge keeps her apart. To the new priest she is a threat but to the valley people she is a healer and she might just be able to heal Michael. Mikael maybe. Yeah I feel excited about that. I love books set in Ireland. Three main female characters, multiple perspectives, 
bit of buddy reading it with my pals. Sounds like it's going to be a right old treat. The next one is a book that I opened in my Mothbox unboxing. I haven't got around to reading any of those books yet. And this I'm going to be reading Call of the Undertow by Linda Cracknell. Um, I also hope to get to Trio by Sue G, which is the other book I got from Mothbox unboxing. But, um, moth Mothbox unboxing, my Mothbox. But this one call called to me. Um, because it's set in Scotland and I, I like books set in like rural parts of the UK. So yeah, it's set in a remote village in Scotland and I thought it sounded cold and storm battered. So I thought that would be a good time for the weather. The weather's terrible today. The lighting, I don't even know how the lighting in this video is going to go. I hope it's all right. I will also be reading this beautiful cloth bound edition of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. My best friend Emma got myself and her tickets to go and see Pride and Prejudice um, at the beginning of February at uh, the live stage show and she she presented those tickets to me within this book um, and I haven't read Pride and Prejudice for a few years, been meaning to reread it. This is the perfect opportunity. I would love to reread it before we go and see the stage show and yeah, going to be doing that and I just love this edition so much. It's just so beautiful. Little ducks or swans. Pond birds. Uh, then the last two books, the first one is Relish My Life in the Kitchen by Lucy Nisley. Eleanor from Eleanor Reads Books bought this for me for my um, birthday present. I cannot wait to read this. This was supposed to be my first book that I read of 2017, but then I got a bit caught up with things that I'd started last year. Um, so when I'm gonna, I'm really looking forward to, to getting into this. It's a graphic novel about food. The artwork looks amazing. It looks like it's gonna be funny. It looks like it's gonna, it's got the content in it that I like. It's got recipes in it. It's got stuff about food. I just love any comic, uh, like graphic novels about food, food fiction, books about food, bloody into it. If anyone can recommend me more things, I'm all, always up for hearing that. And then the last one is um, a book that I've got here, but I may listen to it on audiobook. So this is Leap Year by Helen Russell. Helen Russell um, wrote A Year of Living Danishly that I read last year. Oh, come mini meowing. That I read last year that I've been raving on about. I listened to the audiobook of that and loved it. It was like my third favourite book of last year. Absolutely thought it was amazing, can't rave about it enough. Um, I saw this, this is an ARC, um, but it, it, it was out in December. Um, I saw this in a second-hand bookshop and snapped it up all excited. But now I feel like maybe I will listen to the audiobook because I enjoyed the audiobook of um, The Year of Living Danishly so much and I do have an audible credit going spare. So I will either be reading this or listening to this in January. So those are the books that I will be reading in January. What kind of... God, I'm going to lift this up and it's got the Walking Dead book in it, so it's so heavy. What books will you be reading in January? Have you got? Have you read any of these guys before? Oh, look, I've picked up David's film listography book as well. That's a bit naughty. Um, have you got any recommendations for food fiction or food graphic novels? Anything to do with food? I'm going to have some broccoli and Stilton soup now for lunch um, while I edit this. Um, and that's it. That's it for me on a Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope 2017's going well so far. And I will see you all again for another BookTube video soon.